This Friday, Springfield College will honor the memory of 1959 graduate, the late Dr. Tom Waddell, the founder of the International Gay Games. Springfield College professor Marty Dobro, athletic training graduate student Rob Carney, and Jack Savoya, a friend and classmate of Tom Waddell's, came in to talk about the events that are planned and the man they are remembering. This is one of the greatest athletes in Springfield College history, maybe the greatest. A three-sport athlete in the rare trio of sports, football, gymnastics, track and field. So good in track and field that he made the U.S. Olympic team in 1968 in Mexico City in the decathlon. Itself, perhaps the most versatile challenge in sports, took sixth in the world. Uh, was a physician, as you referenced, uh, traveled the world providing service, medical service to impoverished people and infectious diseases, was an outspoken advocate for social justice, work, went down to Selma in 1965 in support of Martin Luther King's work on voting rights, stood up for the black power sprinters in the 68 Olympics, uh, came out as gay in the most public way possible in 1976 in People magazine, and then launched the gay games in 1982. Absolutely remarkable life, a real renaissance man, and I think a, a genuine Springfield College hero. Jack Savoya, you knew Tom Waddell as a classmate and a friend in the 1950s. Yes. Now thinking back to those times, and there's so much more to him than this great multi-sport athlete. I assume he was not open about his personal life at that time. And not only difficult, could have been dangerous to be openly gay in those days. Right. He, he, we were very close as students, as friends, and he ne no way would anyone ever know that Tom was uh, gay. In fact, his last year in 59, he got engaged to a great gal, B. Brown from Vermont, and uh, he hid that he was gay for a long time until he finally felt safe that he could come out. And uh, I think that's, him coming out like that was one of the things that made Tom such a great humanitarian. He, I think he, what he did, he said to the gays, do not fear being gay. And this, what he did was very courageous. And, uh, and as you can see now, how things have changed, but it started there with Tom and going on to the gay games. And uh, I think uh, I was very thankful and glad that he was my friend. Uh, I have nothing but pleasant memories of him. And I, I, when he finally came out, I think, I really not really thought about gay, being gay. Uh, when it came out and I saw it on the magazine, uh, and I, I just said to myself, I just can't believe it, this is Tom. But I, within the hour, it came to me, so what? And I think that's where it started for me that I could accept this of any, any diversity, so what? And I think this was his uh, humanitarian message to all of us. So what? Thank you so much uh, for those sentiments, sir. Rob Carney, a graduate student now in athletic training at Springfield College. You're a grad student. Uh, you, you have come out as gay yourself. You, you've competed at the international level, I think the highest level in your sport, yeah. openly gay. Tom Waddell's legacy has to have great meaning for you. No, it absolutely does. I mean, I, I've been a member of the Springfield College family for six years. I did my undergraduate work there and now my graduate studies. And just this packed up, past October, you know, came out as gay. And um, I'm actually the first openly gay professional strongman. Um, you know, so having those connections with, you know, Tom Waddell and myself and just being in the spotlight of your sport, you know, and kind of being the front runner all the time, um, you know, kind of puts you in a position of, you know, being an advocate but also, you know, still staying true to your roots and, you know, as Jack and Marty had said, you know, keeping true to your, you know, your humanitarianism and just always looking for what's best in everybody. I'm going to pick up on what Mr. Savoya said. Have you found, and obviously I guess we'd have to credit Dr. Waddell as being one of the pioneers and one of the guys that, that broke down the barriers. In your case, people say, oh yeah, so what? Yeah, I'll tell you what, you know, um, I guess I came out in the modern day version of People Magazine via Facebook. And, um, you know, within the, I mean, few hours after I had done that, it really was the, the comments were remarkable. I mean, it was nothing but, a, but an outpouring of support. You know, there's always going to be those few naysayers that are trying to beat you down. But um, the amount of positivity and support that I had was absolutely unbelievable. And it's something I'll never forget. 
Tom Waddell founded the Gay Games. Originally, he was going to call them the Gay Olympic Games. The U.S. Olympic Committee said no. They went to court. They blocked that. And that, that really dogged him almost to his dying day. It was a fight that went on and on. It really did. Uh, and it was extremely unfortunate because the U.S. Olympic Committee did not deny many other uses of that term. Special Olympics was widely used at the time. Uh, I think despite their protestations to the contrary, I think it just betrayed a real homophobia within that organization. And this was a, a hard fight. And Tom's last years were tough. I mean, he died of AIDS in 1987 at age 49. Um, it's a very difficult way to go. I know that Jack had the opportunity to visit with Tom right toward the end. It's a you know, piercing sort of story. But there was just a, a dignity about him, a willingness to stand up for what he believed in. And it, it's, it I think, really provides a great model to all of us about speaking your truth no matter what. Rob Carney, on April 17th, Tom Waddell Day at Springfield College, there are going to be panel discussions with classmates. I think you're probably, are you part of that, Mr. Yes, Savoy? I thought so. Uh, there's going to be a showing of a 1987 ABC News interview with Tom Waddell shortly before his death. Dedication of a plaque honoring him in the Springfield College Athletic Hall of Fame. You're going to speak, be keynote speaker. You're going to be master of ceremonies. What an honor to be part of that and, and that day. Oh, it absolutely is. Um, when Marty contacted me about this entire day and the celebration of Tom Waddell, I mean, I was honored, absolutely honored. You know, being, you know, a master's student, you know, working on my thesis and working as a grad assistant uh, as an athletic trainer, you know, I have a really busy schedule, but this is absolutely something I couldn't turn down and I'm really, really honored to be a part of. Rob accepted this in an, in an instant. It was great. I mean, he has been a real iconic presence on our campus for the six years that he's been here. A tremendous, tremendous student leader, has complete respect of the student body, of the faculty, of our trustees. I mean, he's a, just a great, great ambassador of Springfield College. And I, I truly believe that if Tom could see this, he would be really honored to see, to see Rob carrying that torch. Jack Sawyer, let me ask you, I, I mean, it must be a sad day in a way that your friend Tom Waddell can't be there himself on his day of honor. What does it mean to you, though, to see him recognized in this way almost 30 years after his death? Oh, I'm very happy. I, I had the experience um, with this, the Hall of Fame. At that time, when Tom passed away, uh, up to that point, he'd never been uh, elected into the Athletic Hall of Fame at Springfield College. And the reason being, we were homophobic on the campus. And the last time I saw Tom, I made a promise. I said, Tom, you're going to get into the Hall of Fame. But uh, I don't, it wasn't just me. It was others on campus, professors and so forth. What it came about through Tammy and the Alumni Relations Office, we changed. What was changed was the method of choosing those that were on the Athletic Hall of Fame. We went to a, a board of just three people to a board of nine which every year three came off and three new came on. And through that, we have such a wonderful, wonderful Athletic Hall of Fame now. And I know Tom would have been so happy. Uh, he was accepted in 1990. And I had the honor and privilege to accept it for him. And uh, what the big change from then to now, the plaque will also include his work with the gay games. And, We've come a long way, Springfield College, and I'm so proud to be part of it. Well, Mr. Savoya, congratulations. You, you made your promise come true to your friend, gentlemen. Have a great day, April 17th. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.